Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Anmurev again with another video. So, okay guys, so today I'll be talking about the class that doesn't get much love as they deserve, Class 1B. So basically, we are going to talk about each student of Class 1B's quirks and then explain it a bit so you guys understand. So yeah, but before that, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for that 1K figurine giveaway and please share and like this video too. So let's get started. So first up guys is we have Yusetsu Awase. So Yusetsu's quirk is called Wield and it gives him the ability to fuse objects together at an atomic level. But before activating his quirk, he has to touch both objects first in order to fuse them. So his quirk is both effective on organic or living things and inorganic or non-living things. Well he might be the cause for this kind of shit too but who knows. So up next also from class 1B is Sen Kaibara. So yeah, Sen Kaibara is like a human excadrill with his quirk called Gyrate. Cause like what Google says, Gyrate is to move or cause to move in a circle or spiral, especially quickly. <laughs> so yeah, he could rotate any part of his body into a drill. So when turning his arms into drills, it enhances his hand-to-hand -hand combat ability which is really nice. Also, Sen pairs his quirk with his equipment on his costume called Drill Gloves. It increases his offensive capabilities as they can deal great damage and makes defending against his quirk impractical. So up next is we have Togaru Kamakiri. So Togaru Kamakiri's quirk is very similar to Mr. One's Devil Fruit ability from One Piece. So his quirk is called Razor Sharp. He could produce large blades from anywhere from his body. So these blades are strong and sharp enough to cut through pipes made out of steel and iron. And it also is durable enough to withstand point black explosions. So up next guys is we have Shihai Kuroiro. So Shihai's quirk is called black. Not this kind though. So his quirk allows him to merge his body into anything that is dark in color, whether it may be naturally dark or via external things such as shadows. So he was able to improve his quirk and now he could move black things like for example, he is able to merge into dark shadow and briefly control it for a limited amount of time. So up next guys is we have Itsuka Kendo. So Kendo's quirk is called Big Fist. This grants her the ability to enlarge both of her hands to a gigantic size. With her hands increasing in size, she also gains enhanced physical strength. It was also shown that she was able to crush Momo's shield that was made of tungsten, which is the strongest metal on earth. So next is we have Yui Kodai and her quirk is called Size. So Yui has the ability to alter the size of non-living objects that she has interacted with which means she can upgrade that fucking regular McDonald's fries to large fries and that boba tea to a larger size. She is someone you always want to bring with anywhere you go. And side note is that she could only activate her quirk by touching her fingertips together. So up next is we have Kinoko Komori and her quirk is called Mushroom. So Kinoko's quirk allows her to spread various types of fungus pores from her body and these pores would grow into full grown mushrooms once hitting the surface. So the mushrooms grow in any kind of surface like for example from her own body or from the opponent's body or from the ground. And these mushrooms last for 2 to 3 hours and spread better in a humid environment. So next up is we have Ibarra Shozaki and her quirk is called Vines. So Ibarra's quirk gives her hair-like vines that grow on her head. She can manipulate the vines allowing her to attack, defend, and immobilize the enemy. She could also detach the vines and it would just grow back if her head is given proper water and sunlight just like a normal plant. So up next guys is we have Jirota Shishida and his quirk is called Beast. So Jiruta's quirk allows him to transform into a large beast man. In this form, Jiruta's strength is enhanced to the point where he can send people flying with a single swipe of his arms. He is also granted with enhanced speed as he is able to move faster than before and be able to evade attacks and swiftly jump to higher platforms. His durability is also increased as he could withstand Denki's jolts and his senses are also significantly sharpened and this helps him dodge surprise attacks. So basically, he's just a strong, strong, very strong man. 
So up next is we have Nirengeki Shoda with his quirk called Twin Impact. His quirk allows him to strike the target and then make the point of contact receive a second impact. So the second impact is much more stronger than the first one. He uses this on himself for him to jump higher and run faster and it impacts more damage to the enemy once it is used on them. So up next is Pony Tsunatori, this My Little Pony ass looking hero and her quirk is called the Horn Cannon. So her quirk gives her a pair of horns on her head and she can send these horns flying as projectiles and can control up to 4 horns at the same time. The horns grow immediately after using the previous ones. So next is we have Kosei Tsuburaba and his quirk is called Solid Air. This quirk allows him to solidify any air he breathes out which allows him to create walls and platforms. And the size of the wall or platform solely depends on his lung capacity. So let's say if he has asthma, it's pretty useless. However, he actually trained and developed this quirk and now is able to create air prisons which is now very durable. Next is we have Kirishima's counterpart Tetsu 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 and his quirk is called Steel. His quirk gives him enhanced durability and most of all his quirk is bulletproof as we have seen as he was shot by mustard and he was unscathed. He also has temperature resistance to heat and cold but if the heat is too much his skin would start melting and this also gives him much more physical strength. One thing about his quirk is that he needs to have an iron diet cause if not it would result in him having iron fatigue and his steel would lose durability. So up next is we have Setsuna Tokage and her quirk is called Lizard Tail Splitter. So just like a lizard who can split its tail, Setsuna is able to split her body up into 50 pieces and each of these pieces can levitate in air and move freely. If these pieces are destroyed, they would just regenerate. The flaw of her quirk is that regenerating the destroyed parts are very tiring for her so she tends to recall her parts so she could conserve energy. So she usually uses her quirk to spy and track down opponents since it's, since it's more suitable for that rather than attacking. So she also matches her costume with her quirk cause her costume is made of her own cells which mean that it can regenerate alongside her destroyed body parts. Next is Manga Fukidashi with this quirk called Comic. So Manga's quirk allows him to materialize words in mid-air by speaking them. So his quirk works similarly from Levi, from fairy tale, but in manga's case is that these words must be onomatopoeias, or words that describe sounds like boom, crash, bang, and it manifests the effects of the phenomenon that the sound suggests. So the drawback of manga's quirk is that he gets sore throat. <laughs> so up next is we have Juzo Honenuki and his quirk is softening. Juzo's quirk softening allows him to soften any non-living things he touches. So like for example, Juzo touches the ground to make it similar to quicksand which hinders the mobility of the opponents and he can also swim through the softened material similar to Senior Pink from One Piece. If he makes contact again with the softened material, it reverts back into its original state. So up next is we have Kojiro Bondo and his quirk is called Semedine. So fun fact that is that his quirk is named after the Super X Semedine adhesive used for cars. So his quirk allows him to spray large amounts of a fast drying glue like liquid from the holes in his face and this is used to trap people and attach things to each other. And it is said that he can control the speed at which the adhesive dries. So up next is we have Reiko Yanagi and her quirk is called Poltergeist. So Reiko's quirk allows her to control nearby objects but it has a weight limit with it being the weight of an average human. So next is we have Huryu Rin with his quirk called Scales. His quirk allows him to sprout strong durable reptilian scales from his skin. These scales serves as armor to him and the good thing about the scales is that you could shoot them as projectiles and they have considerable strength and speed. So last but not least is we have Nato Monoma with his quirk, Copy. Copy allows him to duplicate and use another person's quirk after touching the user. He can copy 4 quirks at a time and can maintain the copied quirk for 10 minutes. He can use the copied quirk however he likes it but cannot simultaneously use all of them at the same time. 
and he isn't able to use effectively quirks that requires previously stored up power like one for all since he is also limited by his own physical body and he wouldn't have the strength to handle powerful quirks. So that's all for today guys and I hope you liked my video and I hope you learned something too. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video if you could and uh, subscribe again to for that 1000 giveaway and um, we'll see you guys again in the next video. So let's go. Bye ears.